Hello, my name is Jeffrey Harrison. I'm a Jesuit priest at St. John's College. The reading is from the book of the prophet Amos. Seek good and not evil, that you may live. Then truly will the Lord, the God of hosts, be with you as you claim. Hate evil and love good, and let justice prevail at the gate. Then it may be that the Lord, the God of hosts, will have pity on the remnant of Joseph. I hate, I spurn your feasts, says the Lord. I take no pleasure in your solemnities. Your cereal offerings I will not accept. Nor consider your stall-fed peace offerings. Away with your noisy songs. I will not listen to the melodies of your harp. But if you would offer me burnt offerings, then let justice surge like water and goodness like an unfailing stream. Today is the feast of Father Unipro Serra. If you didn't hear of him before, maybe recently in the news you heard about him. He was an 18th century Franciscan priest from Spain. He came to the, what was then the Spanish colony of Mexico. And he was sent to what we now uh, consider the state of California. And along the coast, he, followed, he founded a number of missions. You may have heard of some of them. San Diego, Santa Barbara, Santa Clara, San Francisco, and a number of others. And yes, those names are familiar because cities have grown up where he founded those missions. And those cities, mostly in the 20th century, erected statues to him. These are statues on public property. They're not statues that were erected by the church, although they may have been blessed by priests, but they were erected by the cities to honor this man who more than 200 years ago came and began missions. Well, these missions were specifically aimed at the indigenous people of that area in order to make them Christians. And in that day and time, people like Yunipro Serra took very seriously the gospel uh, requirement to go out and make disciples of all nations. Now, how do we do that? Well, Jesus wasn't specific. And so in each age and time, starting with Peter and Paul, the apostles, people who have gone forth have had to decide how to do that. And looking back uh, historically from this vantage point, you might be able to say that Yunipro Serra took the word make very seriously. In other words, force. And in many cases, he is considered to have forced the indigenous population to become Christians. And that once they did, he exerted a control over them, which included discipline by beating, by imprisonment, and things like this. I think it's fair to say he thought he was doing good, that he was bringing people to Christ. People, they believed in those times, if you died unbaptized, God had no choice. And so he was driven by that. Today, we take a different view. We draw people to ourselves. And I think if we read the Gospels carefully, we can see that Jesus did that. Never did he go out and beat someone and say, you must be my disciple. And as a matter of fact, even when people turned away, we think of the rich young man. Jesus looks at him with love and says, come, follow me, sell all you possess. And the man couldn't do it. He walked away sadly. Jesus must have been very sad too, but he didn't follow him with a stick and say, oh, you must come or keep bothering him. He had to let him go. And so today as Christians, I think we understand that part of the gospel better. We call people to follow our way of life. And we call them especially by being Christians. There's an old song that came out in the 60s, they'll know we are Christians by our love. And so as we look back at history, we can learn from the mistakes of the past. We can also be careful because who knows, 200, 300 years from now, what will they look at us and say, ah, what fools they were. And as people begin to question and even pull down the statues of Unipro Serra, we have to be careful. These people who Unipro Serra came to evangelize were not the people that put up the statues. They weren't even the people who owned the territory at that time. They were Americans, white Americans, who came hundreds of years later, and I think it's fair to say did not erect this statue because of Unipro Serra's Catholic identity, but because he founded mission sta stations that years later happened to have the name. So there are no easy answers to this, 
But like Jesus, we listen to the people involved. We call to them, but we do not coerce them. And we hear from the prophet Amos that if we can make justice flow like water and righteousness like a mighty stream, then yes, people will come and God will be pleased.